There's nothing worse than having your hands reveal that you have a fake tan on. So I'm gonna show you how to tan them. Hi guys, what's up? It is Nadia Mejia, and today we are going to be tanning with my Coco and Eve Sunny Honey Collection. I'm gonna be showing you all the tips and the tricks that I use to make sure nobody knows this is a fake tan, because the solution itself, it's perfect. But you can be a dead giveaway if you got all these creases in your fingers and like giveaways on your wrists. So I'll give you all my tips and tricks, but first thing first, I cannot explain how important it is to exfoliate before you tan. You have to scrub off all those dead skin cells so that your skin is a perfect canvas for the tan to apply to. I personally love using the Coco Neve Glow Figure Body Range, the Bali Buffing Sugar. Not only does it make your skin smell amazing, but it just leaves the skin so smooth. I'd show you how to exfoliate, but I think you're pretty capable of doing so, and I'm not gonna take you in the shower with me. So look at the next clip of what the Bali Buffing Sugar looks like while I go shower, but I will be right back. Don't forget this step. I'm back. Did you miss me? I hope so. I'm exfoliated, let's go. Now it's time to bring in my secret weapon. Let's tan this face. Let's not go too heavy and use a mitt. We're gonna use this brush, do one pump and just lightly go over it. I know it looks crazy. Don't worry. We're just gonna get up in there and you wanna swipe down the neck so that it all blends evenly. Get in those collarbones. I promise this fades a bit. Don't go too heavy over the upper lip. You don't want a sunny honey mustache, okay? We're just trying to get it all even. Looks pretty. I mean, I might use this as a foundation. <laughs> wow! Go off, sunny honey. Ooh. There's nothing worse than having your hands reveal that you have a fake tan on, so I'm gonna show you how to tan them. So you're gonna use this brush to brush the tan onto your hands. Now, the giveaway is usually in the creases of the finger, so we're gonna claw our hand, I know it feels weird, but think of like a little dinosaur hand and get right in between those fingers. Brush on top of the nail because we're gonna wipe off any residue that gets onto our nail beds. All right, so with the feet, it's gonna be kind of like the hands. We're gonna have to get in between the creases. So we're gonna brush the tan all along here. And then when we get between the toes, we have to get up in there. You're gonna have to spread every toe separately. And don't worry about the nail polish. It, it's not gonna stain because we're, we're gonna wipe it once again. As we come over here, you don't wanna to put too much product right there because it creases very easily. So just lightly brushing over and getting the entire foot. All right, fam, we did it. Now we're gonna wait six hours. Go to sleep on it. I'm gonna to go to sleep with this. Wake up and I'll show you the results. Stay tuned. <laughs> so happy with the way my tan looks. My hands are even, my feet are even, my face is glowing. The one thing I absolutely love about this fake tan is that it does not smell. I always get concerned that that's also gonna be a giveaway if I have that fake tan smell, but this smells tropical. I'm not even kidding you, it's like coconut tan goodness. I hope my tips and tricks were able to help you guys and that you have the gist of how to fake tan. This is it, y'all. This is what you have to use. Coconut, sunny honey. I freaking love you.